Lesson 7.6, Amounts Greater Than $1. We can show money amounts that are greater than $1 by writing the number of dollars to the left of the decimal point and the number of cents to the right of the decimal point. If we had 15 cents more than $1, we could write the dollar sign, a $1, the decimal point and 15 cents. These are the tens, these are the ones, and we would have one dollar and 15 cents. That's how we would read it. And we would say and for the decimal point, one dollar and 15 cents. If we just have 70 cents and there are no dollars, we can write a dollar sign and a zero for where the dollars would go, then the decimal point and 70. We could also write 70 cents like this, but we can't use both signs. We either have to write it with a dollar sign and then the number of dollars and a decimal point and then the number of cents or the number of cents with just the cent symbol. When we write amounts greater than $1, we use a dollar sign and a decimal point. Here we have one, two, three, four quarters and two dimes. Now four quarters is equal to 100 cents, and that's equal to $1. Two dimes are equal to 20 cents. We have a dollar 20, a dollar and 20 cents. We have 100 cents plus 20 cents, that's 120 cents. It's $1.20 for the total value. Here's a different way to show a dollar twenty cents. We have a dollar bill, that's one dollar, and we have a dime, that's ten cents, and we have a nickel, that's five cents, so that's fifteen cents, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty cents. The total value is a dollar and twenty cents. Here, it's telling us to circle the money that makes $1, then write the total value of the money shown. I see a $1 bill. That makes $1. So we're going to circle that that's $1. So now we know we have $1. We need to count the cents. We have two quarters. That's 50 cents. We have a nickel. That's 5 cents. So that's 50 plus 5. That's 55. 56 57. That means we have $1.57. We write our dollar sign, a 1 for the $1, a decimal point, and then the 57 cents. Again, we need to circle the money that makes a dollar, then write the total value of the money shown. So let's look at these quarters. We have one, two, three quarters. So these three quarters, that's 25.50, that's 75 cents. So this right here is 75 cents. Then we can put the nickel here. That would be 80, then 90, then $1. That would be 100 cents. So here we have $1. Let's get rid of this. This is all one dollar. When we count the cents, we have one, two, three cents. It's one dollar, three cents. We write a dollar sign, a one for the one dollar. We write our decimal point, and we only have three pennies, which are one cent each, so we have three cents. We write it like this, and we put a zero where the tens would have been. It's $1.03. Here we have a word problem, and it says, Sophia has fewer than eight coins. The coins have a total value of $1.35. What coins could she have? We need to draw the coins, then write a list of the coins. And we think. It says fewer than eight coins. And fewer than eight coins means it's seven or less coins. So she has seven or less coins 
that have a total value of $1.35. So we need to draw them. I know that if I draw four quarters, that would be $1. So here's one dollar, and I have four coins. I need to make 35 cents, but the most I can use is three more coins. So I could use another quarter. That's 25, and I could draw a dime to get to 35. Now I've used six coins. I could also use two nickels instead of the dime and I would have four five six seven coins so I could either do five quarters and a dime or five quarters and two nickels we needed to write a list of the coins so we have five quarters one dime or we could say five quarters two nickels either way we'll have seven or less coins that will be the value of a dollar and 35 cents. So we've learned that a penny is one cent, a nickel is five cents, a dime is 10 cents, and a quarter is 25 cents. There's also a coin called a 50 cent coin, which is also called a half dollar. And it's got the president of John F. Kennedy on the front and a bald eagle on the back. You don't see too many of these, but they're around. Some people call them Kennedy half dollars. And be careful when counting coins because we learned in video 7.2 that there are state quarters that they made for a little while and each state quarter has a different image on the back. A regular quarter has the bald eagle, but each state quarter has information about the state. It's got the year that it became a state in the United States. And like Arkansas, it shows corn and diamonds. And it tells you that South Carolina is a Palmetto state. And it's got a little information about each different state. So all those quarters have different backs and it won't have the eagle. It will have George Washington on the front, but the backs are all different. So be careful if you count these. You want to make sure you remember that those state coins are quarters worth 25 cents. Our next lesson, 7.7, .7, we're going to do some word problem solving that involves money and coins. Have a really good day. I hope you'll join me next time. Hit that like button if this was helpful. Bye.